These bold block letters are iconic to the city of Providence. Want to spend the night inside a landmark? You can, as the Biltmore endures. The current owners just flipped the script and changed the name to Graduate, open as such since 2019. For those who loved the old Grand Dame, her charm is intact. Accented now with explosions of color, whimsy, and nostalgia. Grand Budapest Hotel, the movie. That was really what drove the design element in the lobby here, just to kind of give that movie, that Hollywood feel when you walk in, just that wow factor. Honoring the hotel's rich history was crucial in the overhaul it underwent, says General Manager Scott Williams. So much has happened here since 1922. When the hotel first opened, there was a barber shop, there was a post office, there was an ice plant. It's the place presidents would stay. The city's longest serving and wildly notorious mayor, Buddy Cianci, lived here. It's had its ups and downs, early on overwhelmed by the Great New England hurricane of 1938. The hotel lobby was under about seven and a half feet of water. Current day, Graduate offers 294 bright and playful guest rooms and majestic gathering spaces. The ceilings are all original to 1922, all the inlay work, the columns, the dance floor is original. An elevator that boasts back to the future type travel but goes nowhere, preserved just for posterity, and much more. We have our restaurant, Reiner's Bar and Game Room, that has the two top golf swing suites. It's kind of an upscale sports bar ambiance in there. We partnered with Norwich Spa out of Connecticut, and so we have a full service spa on property. And then we also have Poindexter Coffee, which is graduate signature coffee shop. Williams says the most frequent question people ask is whether the vibrant neon Biltmore sign will stay put for good. His answer, absolutely. It's a beacon when you're driving into Providence, so it's something that even though the hotel is no longer officially the Biltmore, the soul of the hotel will always be the Biltmore. Wow, it's what a beautiful place that is. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle.